Morning. How's it going? Yeah, not bad, mate. You all right? I'm good, thank you. So I've dried out after the weekend. A wet I am weekend? Back well, it was a wet weekend. It was mildly moist. Yes. Oh, oh you nearly oh. fell over. That's karma. <laughs> right. It's a Tuesday. We're all a bit giddy, so let's get through the intro and we'll see where this goes. Let's do it. Back. So, <laughs> let me get honestly, a shot of <laughs> this was a lovely gift off Matt, who watches, and I'm sure he's been down here before. But anyway, he's an RA owner, and Matt's favourite game is playing. How many so's do I say in a video? And then messages me how many I've said. <laughs> Didn't even know it was a thing until he brought it up. So he is the next nah, bed. There's one. Like, yeah, I know that said that my logo looks like a dancing bird. <laughs> I remember that, actually. And now I've seen that, I cannot unsee it. Yeah. So... <laughs> There's one. Honestly, I didn't even know I'm doing it. I didn't even know I'm doing it. So yeah, thanks for that, Matt. You've given me... Hey. An, 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 <laughs> you so. Oh, I hate you all. <laughs> the thing is, it is impossible. <laughs> the to next word that's going to be out of my mouth is going to be so the weekend. <laughs> so I. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is like that game where you're not allowed to say yes for a million quid, isn't it? That's the one. Right. I'm just going to act normal or try to, which but never happens. As normal as possible for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's Tuesday. It's good. Uh, and Dav's turned up the camera. So yes. you got wet as well on the weekend, didn't you, mate? I got very soaked in West Wales. Yes, anyway. So. Oh! Fuck. Uh -uh. <laughs> we tried to compose ourselves because we had a funny friend's blooper moment. Um, yeah, weekend was good to be fair. Well, Saturday wasn't, Saturday was shocking. So Friday, I went it's to. It's your last, isn't it, Rick? Exactly, mate. And I, wasn't, and I wasn't first all weekend, so. <laughs> uh, track day last Wednesday, so to just... <laughs> oh my God. This mug is getting launched in a minute. Um, yeah, just to sort of set the bike in, because I hadn't ridden it since I crashed at Pembury, so obviously rebuilt that, got that sorted. Uh, Thursday, I was back and forth then because we were trying to set, help Dan set up down there as well. And we put Motec on George's R6 and trying to get that done. Uh, Friday morning there, me and the boys went down because we stayed all weekend, as in me and my two lads. Yeah. So Callum slept in front of Coops' truck and Jack slept in the van with me. Um, Friday afternoon then, they split it because there's so many people go to Coombe and not many people are allowed on track at once. So if you think at like Pembury or Alton, they let 60 bikes out in one group. Wow. Where at Coombe, I think it's like 12. So what they do is they split the day in half. So you get three 10 minute or 12 minute sessions in the morning and three in the afternoon. And then they split, you can pick. So we were in the afternoon, um, bike, bike felt all right. Went out Saturday morning, um, warm up was okay. Got into open qualifying, which was for the King of Coombe race. Um, uh, and it is a power circuit around there. So you've got the 600s have got to put a lap in. So it's me, George, and a GP2 lad called Luke Allen. And then Mikey Hardy, who's the lad we support, we sponsor, he was there as well. The thousands stop in the corners and then fire it out. So you can't get stuck behind them. Anyway, I screwed my strategy up wrong in qualifying. I was late out, late out of the awning, so I didn't get to the front because normally I would try and go out the front. And then the faster lads just pass you and it is, it's done. But I was expecting to be even inside the top six. I got out late, caught in traffic, so I rolled through the pits, time it so I get a big gap. But the lap time speed between the top and the bottom is quite big and it'd be three corners and I'm on someone else again. So I come back in, I roll through pits twice and at this time now I'm working myself up and working myself up. Then I get a good clear lap right at the end and I can see the lad who's winning the King of Coombe like three seconds up the road, Max. And I'm like, right, okay, that's a, that's a good, and he's motoring on. Um, I'm a second, I'm over a second up because my delta on my lap time, on my dash only goes plus one second or minus one second. So I'm a second up. I was P14 at the point, 
So I tie myself in knots, I'm a second up, and I'm like, okay, front two rows, front two rows, front two rows. We get through to tower, Max has literally knocked it right off and he's on the line, and I've nearly run up his ass, and it's just killed the lap. So I've come in, I'm like, P15, and I just lost my shit. Not happy? No, 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 yeah. completely unraveled, and then it's gone then, and then three races out after that, I'm out in a 600, which is fine, I just put it on the front row. I think I qualified second. George flies around there as well, like he grew up. Where we come through racing on, like I've probably done the most laps at Cadwell and Pembury. He's done the most laps at Coombe because yeah. the, the club had kind of changed where they went to over the years. So he's mustered, he's mustered there. Um, so when we went at 600s, he was pole, I'm sure I was either second or third, but his front row, that's all I wanted. Or well, that's all you kind of can do. Cause it's level rows as well at Coombe. They don't stagger your rows. Um, and third is better because you're on the inside so as long as you get a good start you just stuff them down the inside sure, yeah. uh, and then it went for the race and then open then I had to start 15th and it's just so hard to battle with the big bikes around there there's nowhere because say for example you come out of camp right and you run so if they hold you up in camp your run then through folly and up the hill is screwed and then they've put so much distance on you by the time you get to quarry if you do catch them back up they screw you in quarry because you can't run through so it just that race then the first open race just again just frustration because i couldn't cut through and bearing in mind at pembury i went from 38th to fifth in three laps in the open race different track yeah and i couldn't get through from 15th i think i got through to 11th mate it was just a battle um so, yeah 600 races all right so i had a bad saturday um and it's like even Kate, let's say she comes down and she's like, it's all right, just forget. And it, she's right, you've got to forget about it and just move on. But sometimes it just sets into your brain yeah. and you just can't get it out. So anyway, I had a bit of a laugh. Saturday night, sorted the bike out. Sunday morning, different game. So yeah, much better Sunday. Got to lunchtime, started raining. I had him 15th to third in the open, um, in the wet. So I got, I came third in King of Coombe race. So I was chuffed with that, so it's me. Uh, Josh won it, so Josh was back this weekend on the R1 we awesome built. stuff. So we're gonna try and get him down to do a thank you video, because that bike, mate, that one, I didn't think he finished, I think he got one fourth, the rest were podiums, and he got a win. First race back in 15, 16 months. That's amazing. Mate, mental, yeah. mental. Um, so he was proper chuffed. Uh, the bike was mint. His bike is a weapon. We did all right there. <laughs> uh, so he won the King of Coombe race. George was second and I was third. So two of my closest mates yeah. and two of the racers I probably look up to the most all on a box together. So Happy yeah, days. that was that was good. And then 600 race then. Uh, me and George were doing 14 sixes in the rain. Mate, 14 sixes. Bearing in mind, if I told you, I couldn't even get into the 11s this weekend. Like proper mental block and I'm two and a half seconds slower in, in the pouring rain. Well, Mate, just, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So that was, I think that ball, was- Balls out is the term we We finished use. 66 seconds ahead of third. Bloody hell. 66 seconds in front of third, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah, I lined him up for the last lap. We were glued to each other, absolutely glued to each other. And fair play to him, he was setting that pace on his own. Um, but he, I think if it had been the other way round, me and him would have come first and second in the open race. Because I don't think anyone would have lived with us. We just had the feel, and then we went out for the. So it was open first, then six hundred. So me and him went off the line, and he said, "He goes, oh, I knew, I knew it'd been, I knew it'd, you were going to be quick." So he's gone off like a scolded cat, and he's put like a second bit into me in the first lap, and I'm like, "Fuck me, he's in for this." So I got my head down, reeled him back in, reeled him back in, and it was just an absolute race of traffic. And that's not ragging on everyone else, but there was two places where he got proper held up. Um, but it, it was the hold up was so bad it held me up. Yeah. It wasn't like he could make a decision, he could go one way and I went the other. It just stopped the traffic in a row. Um, so I was just on his ass all race, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. Last lap then, he's immaculate going up into quarry and over over on rising to quarry is so good there. And I, I was much better than him down into tower. Um, so he was compromising his line down hammer down not to cover the overbanding whereas i kind of brought my crossover further up so he was going down into tower quite narrow whereas 
I was crossing the overband in right at the top when a bike's upright, and then I could run into tower really fast. So I was like, right, I'm just going to send it at tower. But of course, you've got to make sure you're on the back of him at quarry. So I've come out of quarry last lap, and even one of the marshals is like good friends of ours. I thought I'd sent myself to a moon, mate. I come out of the turn and I just tapped the gas to make sure I didn't lose him, and it just went. Rap! <laughs> and I, I was up looking down at the bike and I remember landing back on a seat uh, I said it out loud and I just went second will do second will do it was a monster <laughs> mate um, but that's how it is that's how it is so that was a buzzing race so it went from Saturday being an absolute load of shit to and there's a funny thing right here's how my brain works if it had lashed it down Sunday morning yeah. and me and George had done that Sunday morning Sunday afternoon, if it had dried, I'd been low 11s. I'd got it, might have got into 10s. Because my head would have gone, well, you can do that in a wet, so you can definitely do it in a dry. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. Spud was there, Charlie Nesbitt, he races British Superbikes. He'd done a 106. I want to say a 106.8. Mate, what is that about? Mate. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Like we, everyone was like, so the lap record before we got there was a one o. Uh, I'm sure it was Coops was a one o eight four. He'd done a one o seven, and then yeah, he busted out a one o six. That's mental, mate. With that last chicane, that's mental. Uh, TJ Dunn, TJ Tom's races in British Supersport. He's got an old nail of a Honda, an absolute piece of shit Honda and they literally smashed some wets into it. He missed the warm-up lap, so he had to start from the back of the grid on cold tyres, and he done last to first in a power bike race. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> and I put on my post, on it, like the wet, the cream rises to the top in a wet. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you could be a sender in the dry, and I'm not really aggressive enough in a dry, that's my downfall. But in the wet then, you start to see who can try. So then you start going, Spud didn't risk the super bike in the wet. So there's TJ, Josh, me, George, Mate, we were all doing 15s. Or four, well, me and George done 14s, Josh and TJ done 15s. And everyone else is like 18s, 19s, 20s. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a good weekend. I've got to clean the old girl now. There so, is. She's filthy. But yeah. It was it for how bad it started. It ended, it ended good, mate. And I come home without crashing it. That is... Yes. Hang on a minute. What, uh, I didn't crash it at Brands. I crashed at Castlecombe, I didn't crash at Donny, I crashed at Pembury. So by that reckoning, I'll crash at Anglesey. <laughs> Watch this space. Yeah, yeah. So George has got me, uh, I'm not quite second in the open. I'm about 30 points off second in the open, but I reckon I can do that. Uh, George is leading the open. George is now beating me by 12 points in the 600. So yeah, it's on, mate. It's going good. Good fun. All right, front off. I don't know. <laughs> so. Where is it? Where is it? Can I just point to that when I want to say the word? Just point, yeah. Um, Jordan's going to grit them tomorrow. Grit them. So if you're there and you're, you're a YouTube fan and you see him, go up and tell him he looks immaculate. So I think he's going to go out on a bike tomorrow. I can't because we're trying to move this week. I've got to take Dave's lad's bike back. So we're going to give that cl another clean and take that back. Just give it a bit of a tidy up for him. Yep. Um, it is like Tyre City in this corner. So if anyone... <laughs> If anyone wants some slicks for their track bike, uh, give me a shout because I have got loads of 19060 17s British Supersport slicks. There we go. Uh, they're mainly SC ones. Uh, I have got some British Superstock treaded fronts. So if you use 12070 17s on a front. I've got two of those. I've got some slick fronts. They're, they'll be all right for a track day, track day lad, but yeah. we've had the best out of them for racing. So if anybody has interest, give me a shout. Uh, Carl's got the Merchelago pretty much stripped. So we're waiting on pistons for that. Uh, me and you are going to do a bit of a DL800 video, aren't we? So yeah. we've got bits and pieces out there. The Golf engine is stripped. Did, did I show you that? No. Oh, wow, right. Okay, let's have a look at that then, Dadla. Uh, that's the TTRS head and block. So head looks quite tidy, look, to be fair. So we, we'll just get the seats cut. So I tell you what, look. Uh, where do I see... Hang on, mate. Where's 
I saw one the other day where it hadn't been seating right. There it is. I don't know whether your camera will pick it up, mate, but the seat's lost contact round here. Okay. So we'll recut the seats, uh, we'll get the valve serviced, and then we'll rebuild the head. A couple of people have messaged saying, oh, they'll have the car with a built engine in it, but I, th I think some people have missed the point of the built engine costs more money. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at the minute, one lad has reached out saying he might have an engine that he wants to swap. Uh, but remember, it needs to be a seeper, an iron block, an early iron block engine. If not, I think I'm going to just buy a new block. Right. And just do a stock refresh build on a new block, get a head, seats cut, a light skim just to clean it up. Um, and yeah, put it back together. This is what I wanted to show you, mate. Dude. So, so, this is the Golf GTI engine, right? The this head is a looks. Mark six, this, isn't it? this is a Mark VI. Hang on. Ew. Bendy, bendy. Bendy, bendy. Now, this happened to the poor sod who used to own Kate's A4 with the same engine, and the same thing happened. So he needs to go off and buy something that doesn't have valves in, I think, because he has two engines on a bounce now. He's had timing slip. Um, so same kind of thing. I'm going to put um, new inlet and exhaust valves in it. I'm going to put a new set of springs in it. The retainers and the collets are all right. We'll cut the seats. Uh, we'll give the head a light skim. The, block, the bottom end is fine. We'll get the injectors cleaned and tested. Um, and then that can go back together. So that's our two projecty cars that can be done and gone then yeah yeah um get them out of the way the turbos i don't know where i said the turbos are here for my rs6 so that's the same kind of thing i think i think george is going to have my stock turbos and we're going to do tt thousand pluses yep for his car i think that as all, as it always happens that spec is snowballing yep so we'll sort of a monster yeah it should be quite good um yeah me and you need to have a play with that. Watch the oil as you come round, mate. And then Carl is being put in water meth on uh, on Harry's. So the, six, yeah. um, we normally use the Aquamist system, and it uses like a plastic push fit, um, and it's quite quick to install, and it is quite neat. The guys, Harry and George, have gone for the snow performance stuff. Looks really good like this now it does look bloody good it does look nice but this takes a lot of work yeah i reckon so far he's two days into this just putting a water meth on it well you, you know you can't go charging someone two three days work to put that on but that's the sort of finish you know we're looking for like you know so he's had to make all these lines and make them fit and i yeah. don't know whether you can see down here like that's the sort of precision and fit and finish we want yeah a little bit better mate yeah so you can see the hose comes around the feed hose comes around we've made the t and the hoses and then there's a tiny little short hose into the jet there yeah just down underneath which is on the top of the intercooler and then the hose runs all the way across the top then and then it comes in over here as well just there look there we go yeah so then we've got to it's some work isn't it it's, yeah it's yeah, yeah it's a lot of work and and he's they've gone for the four jet system as well so we've got to fit another two jets in we're going to turn oh cardinal sin ah mr carl is ringing right let's pause there because my employee is calling so it is a very nice system it's just getting it installed and getting it to look nice so yeah. whereas the old the aquamist one same kind of jet layout same kind of pump but all the plastic they're literally like quick release plastic push fittings um, so you just push the plastic hose in the fit and that's it it's done this is a little bit different so it'll, it'll be good when it's done uh, you can then put a, or now we can put the lights back in bumper back on and we can just finish off the mechanical work for him so you've got to finish uh, servicing the transmission and then yeah you can have it back and it can go off and get tuned what, what's the, the plan with this power wise what's uh, that I've we've just put the water meth on it okay. so I think this will end up going somewhere else to be tuned yeah um, because you have to custom tune on this, sure. it's not our bag. Yeah. Um, 
to really just do all the mechanical stuff for him and then uh, you know he'll probably go and choose someone either the only guys I can think of doing them now are like either Devil Development or MRC so yeah. our builds in the past we've sent up to Doug at MRC yeah. um, because they've got the all that chip they've done it all like do you know what I mean like yeah. we do R8 so yeah. the point of me being sat here over and over and over again yeah, yeah just let him crack on but mechanically it'll be mint cool um, Jordan's putting a Porsche on his ramp another one another one it's cool little GTS what have you got on that George film see if we can get him on camera because he normally hides away what are you doing on that film Ah, oh. oh, right. Ceramic coat on that one then. And then he's got another Lotus outside, so he's the Lotus King at the minute. Uh, water leak or coolant leak, not water leak. Coolant leak on that one. Matt's doing service and handbrake. So handbrake cables were these though solid. Can't move them. Absolutely done. That one's grindy, but that one is spent. Yep. So handbrake cables and the pads are knackered, so we put a set of pads and pins in it as well. What else have we got, Dabla? We're gonna go outside. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with pistons on that. POS. Uh, some people point have said, of sale. yeah, point of sale. Some people have said vice goes. Um, yeah, I just need to. If I'm honest, mate, last sort of ten days, two weeks, because we had to build Josh, finish Josh's bike as well. I've just been bike mode, so yeah. I can put some attention into that now. Um, but I need to figure out what I'm going to do with pistons. That's the next hurdle. Yeah. Uh, we've got full Acura for. Uh, 992 GT3 system that's just landed and come in. Go. I've got a bare 720 block that I've got a build. You're not saying that like a roadman. Bare 720 block. Bare 720. So we've got to build that. Um, it's funny, right? A McLaren specialist had an engine of a broken timing chain. The engine had no oil pressure. It was knackered, uh, and it's like it was here first, and we said you can't build that. You can't, it's, it's worthless. And then because he's so set on smoking every McLaren independent out of the water, yeah. he told the guy, yeah, we can do that. That's what we do for a living. Got the engine made. Yeah, can't rebuild that. We're outside, bud. We are. And I helped uh, a chap called Peter. Uh, he was looking for some chassis numbers for some Lambos. And mate, he sent me some coffee. I don't drink coffee, but Kate drinks coffee. So thank you very much. This is CHCO. Right, yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm going to go blind now. Is that Co? I think so. But I think that's his... It looks very posh. Yeah. I think that's his company. So go check them out. Have a little look. Nice. So I need to find now a proper coffee machine for Kate because we haven't got one because she'll drink that. So anyone knows any good coffee machines, smash it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally like an advice line now, isn't it? Like it is pretty much, yeah. So, right, let's put these down here. Uh, not much behind you has gone on. What can I see in the background? The blue Gen 2 for a misfire. Just over there. Uh, George's RS6. The ECU's turned up for Key, for Kevin's. Uh, misfire, two misfire jobs to look at. Martin's is done. The RS4 is done. Um, the twin charge one's done, still not being picked up. SSK's done, that's got a new diff in. My van is full of bike stuff, so I've got to empty that. Um, we've got a few bits to go uh, on the Lambo. Yeah. Jordan's had another Lotus turn up. Very nice. We're waiting on suspension to turn up for Terry's. That's being the dealer that sold him the car doesn't trust us or something. So they're finding the shocks to send down. Never understand it. Uh, Tom's is all done. That's going today. So that's had suspension, fixed gear linkage, a few other bits. Uh, and another misfire one turned up. So yeah, there's loads to get on with. Lots of misfiring going on. There is. Um, Mitch is off poorly. I don't know, he's probably like eating something weird. Um, because he was, yeah, he was ill yesterday to be fair, so he's gone home. Uh, what else? Oh, Carl's bought a car. Ah, let's have a look. And he is most excited about it. 
Here we go. Look, they've put a Honda sticker on it, but they've spelt it wrong, Dav. <laughs> oh yeah, where did that come? Look, Honda. Honda. Oh, it's good. South it Southwest, isn't it? Honda. Has it actually got as new injectors in it? Oh right, okay. I think it's stock. Is that as new as in nearly new, or as new as in as new? As new. <laughs> I think they're regional. Who knows? <laughs> Mate, where's your headlining gone? Yeah, it's uh, well, the headlining is just in there. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Your door handles in your door pocket. Door latches, wobbly. Oh, is that? So that's a new one. That came with the car. Is that what sold the deal? Rick's YouTube video is about to go off with this. Because of Recaro, is it? Yeah, Recaro is a nice to be fair, isn't he? And your weighted knob. Yeah. And that was. Why is it in gear? Does it roll on the handbrake? Just, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Do you park in gear all the time? Yeah. White dials. Whenever they. Um... What's the idea with it then, Carl? Just a bit of a. Coming a bit closer. A bit of a project. Do up gradually. Do a few well, trapdees in it. What's the lock for then? What does that do? I don't know. Locks the levers, I guess. What? So if you break <laughs> into the car, you can't open the fuel pump. Where's your keys? <laughs> Mate, it's got like fake carbon trim. It looks trick. It does. I don't know. What that is. Look, it locks the boot lever. Yeah. Look. So like, if you break into the car, yeah, you can't get in his boot. Hey, they think hey. of everything, don't they? Those Honda, <laughs> those Honda, Honda people. people. Honda. Oh, here we go. He's getting a, he's getting a good bit out of that. Well, mate, a good bit in the wing. Oh, oh look at it. Way. Here we go. Red rock cover. Look. <laughs> P-Tech, yo. <laughs> so, go on, what were these? 200. Break two hundred and twelve. Two hundred and twelve. Originally, yeah. Should put it on Dino see if it still is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, I remember the reviews of these when it came out. They always said, mate. "Talk about the the rifle bolt gear change." It's one of the best front wheel drive cars ever made. Yeah. That was a that was a classic uh, car journo. Oh time for this. god, I would love to yeah. know the journo that come up with that bollocks. The kind of journos that go, "Oh yes, it's got a whiff of oversteer." A dab of oppo. Da yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you put it on a limiter yet? Yeah. No. That's what it's for, isn't it? It's got no power unless you're like above yeah. seven thousand. So. <laughs> above the limiter. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be above the red line to be. You've got to be bouncing the off the limiter. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I need a. I need a B16. Well, what one did I have? An EG. Split, split, yeah. split Civic hatchback now. Yeah. Yeah, because I won them when I was a kid. We've all got a track car apart from Ricky. i got two track cars, thanks mate. What failure in life is. i got three actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're just all broken. <laughs> we can't talk about lap times and tyres anymore. No. There we go. So yeah. if you want to make a comment, what track car should you get? No, I'm not buying any more cars. <laughs> I'm not buying any more cars. I need to fix what I've got. I've got four broken cars. I have four broken cars. <laughs> How did it get to that? I have a TTRS with a broken engine. I have a Golf with a broken engine. I have a Noble that's just broken. <laughs> <laughs> with a broken engine. That's broken with a broken engine. It's with broken you. Yeah, and I've got an RS6 with a broken engine. At least the van's alright. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I might just do the track day in a van. <laughs> Are you happy? Because you're never happy. As I'm this made slightly happy. less miserable. Uh, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> Both when he of gets, his kids yeah. but no the day boy's red honda he cracked a grin i'm happy now life completed <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what is the plans are you going to take the cat off and I mean, sell it it's already gone is it, is it? Uh, yeah. i am more concerned about where they put the airbag under the bonnet like where did they put that did they put the it airbag. there to protect the vtec <laughs> What is it they say? <laughs> Nine million VTEC units sold and they've never had an engine failure. Mm, not sure mm. if that's true. No, that is like <laughs> the old days when Pro Proton were racing in IRC because they were racing against us and Skoda, like when we had Andreas Mikkelsen. And the Skoda engine, uh, sorry, the Proton engines would always blow up. But their official line what always was, it was an electrical failure because when the rod came through the block, it took the alternator out. <laughs> <laughs> so their argument was, yeah, it's electrical failure. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, wheels. What have we got? He's got, he's got Old done, school uh, compos. Look at those. What are they? Compomotives. Yeah. At least you haven't got to take the wheel off to find out what wheel size it is. That's exactly what you want in a pistol. Mo fives. No, you have got them. This is where Davlar's like proper getting into his uh, into your expertise now, isn't it? This was the back catalogue pages of like Redline back Mate, in the day, wasn't it? I was saying earlier when I worked on Fast Car, we had one of these when they first came out. A press car for a week, and we drove it very sensibly. Obviously, I bet you did. <laughs> Dick in it already. Hey, a dick in it. Dick. <laughs> well, yeah, you're in. You it. were just about to get in it. <laughs> oh, that's a big boot. Self tappers on the number plate on. Yeah. What every prestigious car needs. That is a wing. That is a wing. Uh, it needs it because it's so fast. It needs a downforce. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it stinks in here. Oh, look. Hey, no, no good, good racing. Straight, what does it smell Japan. of in here? This has had dead bodies in it. Old people. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bracket off? This is an engine mount, I think. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is a spare engine mount. And okay. a tube of flurboprofen. Oh, God. That <laughs> fell out of the dead person's inner coat pocket. <laughs> I was going to say arse, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it stinks in here. It's got, like, oh, it's got a shiny pipe. Oh, look, your, your, your speaker's got a washer stuck to it. Oh. Nice. Oh. Wait, a <laughs> what are these bars for? Eh? Ah, oh, they're the springs for the bootlegs. Oh, oh, look at the arrow. oh yes! Oh, it's cool. Gotta do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that again. Takes a while. That's proper that. Go it's got a twang in it, mate. It's got a Oh yes. You know you've made it, you've got no one. It's my air jacks. The parking sensors as well. Have to park it once I think. Oh mate. yeah. Ah, listen to that rod rattle. It's a bit tappy. A bit. It's, it's just that you get tap it. It's yeah. just that it's just that rebuild, but it's still a bit tappy. <laughs> I thought VTEX didn't fail. It's still running. <laughs> it goes after. What, when oil pressure comes up? <laughs> so, that is just, uh, I don't know whether that's lifted the average ownership points or lowered them. What do we think? I like it. Has Carl made a sound investment? <laughs> They're rare. They're they rare. Like, You're rare. There's 250. Doesn't mean I want to buy one of you. <laughs> well, I'm unique. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just put these on. If anyone knows what these are, these are called bullshit blockers. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy them from my website. <laughs> Actually, don't no, just give them out for free. So there you go. Like, so Carry on. It's basically like, yeah, it Max like Evo on this. It's a whole <laughs> It's got a big wing on the back. It's, yeah. it's the same thing. It's we'll red. have to put them next to it. It was red originally. It's pink now. <laughs> same. <laughs> pink Evo. <laughs> Happy days. Yeah. Here we go. So we're doing jump cars now. We're uh, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We have got an NSX to do, but an old one. Yeah. I think then you'll see Carl smile. What is that? A seat. I pumped up the bolsters. No way. Yes. <laughs> what are these? Pump it, pump these it. are like old Air Jordans. Yes. I don't know if it works. That's what you should do. How'd you let it down? I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I thought there should be buttons on my ones. If anybody knows how to let the seat down, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a stress ball. Don't let this release. Yeah, and the front just falls out between your legs. Like, that slides forward. That's where you find <laughs> this is where I tear it off. Find all the no. crisps and stuff down there. Uh, no, I'm going to break something. I can't reach the pedals because Carl's been in it. Does the aircon work? It's not got any. Someone's took it off. Got the button. That's another second, so you can feel better about pressing the button. Air con delete. Yeah, that's another second. <laughs> never understood. That's people nice. never driven cars fast. Like you get hot driving fast. Yeah. Why do people take air con off? I just press the button. It's gonna feel better. <laughs> <laughs> well, simultaneously, let the window go down. <laughs> it's, re it's requirement in endurance racing, like GT. You have to have air con. Yeah, because it's driver health. Yeah. 
mental power before you get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got be, you've got to be mental to get into this. Yeah. Carla, phone 5p. Oh, thank you, Thank you. <laughs> the car cost you. What do you say you paid for this? Four grand. Go on, say it, Rick. Go on, say it. Say see, it. See. What did Rick say? When did, when did you first got it? I told him it was four grand and he said that's a lot of money for a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not am I wrong? Fair play, fair play, Carl. But, but am I wrong? <laughs> as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. I'm not happy. I'm not happy either. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. So were these chrome originally? Well, no, they should be black, and I think that's a chrome one that someone's painted black and then it's, yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a Needs a bit of work. Well, they've tried to break it yeah. ten times. It's solid underneath, so that's the main thing. Yeah. So, once you've finished your project truck, yeah, I think we'll forget about that. <laughs> Can you forget about it with it on your driveway then? <laughs> or just scrap it. We said that last year <laughs> before heart problem. Mm. That's what maybe caused the heart problem. Mm. Thought thinking of fixing the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That truck's been here longer than you have. Because even while you were off for six months, Maybe the truck still was here. still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually turned up for work more than you have. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> right. Uh, well, On that bombshell. Yes. Let's, uh, I don't know whether that's a trademark. That's heavy old bonnet, that, isn't it? Yeah, I can't I'll take it off. Never say <laughs> 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 um, That's a wrap, I think, I think folks. Done. So. Get Sam coming to do the dance. <laughs> That's not even shot. Can he put dents into it to make it look like something better? Oh, look! look the, the dent guys made it look like a GT40. That Peugeot, Joyce, No, what was that? Yeah. Maybe, maybe he takes some like old ladder or something and like starts beating away at it with a hammer yeah, and yeah, turns yeah. it into yeah, a 206. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember old Bangla Bashers on Discovery? Le Poo oh. or whatever his name was. Fucking Lemu! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he used to take like lead flashing off a roof and make a <laughs> wing and he would make a 325i look like a Ferrari. But remember, didn't. Yeah. He put like six inch wheel spacers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to be drunk with squinted eyes and underwater for it to look like a Ferrari. But right. we, should, we should get a discovery. We'll do a TV program for you. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know of what. But I could run a show. Yeah. Jordan could be our body guy. You could be like the new Yanni, mate. No, I'm alright. I'll <laughs> <laughs> just watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Sit and watch it. Yeah. With your sunglasses on your head. Yeah. Hang on, take sunglasses mate, off. Trademark. Take sunglasses off your head. Oh, who are you? No one knows who you are. <laughs> Trademark sunglasses. Right. Let's, let's wrap it up. Smash buttons. Put some shit in the comments below. And we'll see you Friday. We'll see you Friday. See you Friday. Laters. Bye.